watching in my corset. Perk me up. Perk me up. Have good posture, Heather. <laughs> I'm not like a car salesman. I don't like to push products at people saying, you need this, you need, you need to buy this, this, this. I recommend what's going to be good for them, but um, I'm not in it to make money. I just want them to take care of their hair at home. So guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to bring you my top 2017 favorite hair products. Now, my main job is a stylist. That's what I do for a living. I've been a hairdresser for almost how old is my son i've been a hairdresser for 11 years if so i wanted to include all my favorite hair products that i use in the salon on myself even though i only am showing you just a few today i do use other stuff in my shop but this is just my staple products kind of like when i did my top makeup products of course i use way more but those are what i reach for the most so that's what i wanted to include in this video so i'm going to start with hair tools and then I'm gonna move on to like the hair products and stuff like that. So the first thing that I want to mention is this T3 Single Pass Lux Flat Iron. Now I have had the same flat iron for six years almost. So when I moved into the studio, I told my husband, I want to try to upgrade my stuff. I want to get all new tools, scissors, stuff like that. So, and when I seen this, beautiful flat iron it intrigued me so much so i do a lot of youtubing and reviews before i buy a product which is what led me into doing my youtube channel but um i've seen a lot of stylists use this brand t3 and it looked like it did an amazing job i watched lots of reviews lots of tutorials so um, I ordered this. Now, I did get a stylus discount. You have to give them your license number. Then you will get, just kind of like how we buy our products, we get a discount, and then the public pays a different price. Seen on Ulta, this was, Ulta and Sephora, it was like $180. Guarantee you, if you go onto T3's Instagram page, that they always have sales and discount codes and all that. Definitely check there before you just go buy it because you will get a much better deal I want to say I paid about 120, 130 for this, which is about average when I pay for a flat iron. Um, sometimes I could get them for a little cheaper, but I knew how good this was. And like I said, this color I like absolutely fell in love with because as you can see, my rose gold pillow, my table, my whole shop is blush tones and rose gold and whites and silvers. And I just, I love that color palette. So when I seen this flat iron, I knew I had to get it but I love it because it has a temperature setting. I will not buy any hot tool item without a temperature setting because it's so important to not overheat your hair, especially if you have dry hair, if it's a little damaged, if you use any type of lightener bleach in your hair, if you use too high of heat on it, it's going to cause more damage, more breakage, prevent it from not growing because of all the breakage that it's going to do. Okay, so moving on, I'm going to mention this big three barrel crimper curling iron whatever you want to call it and it's got a temperature control here it's got some it's got a little twisty knob i've got it wrapped up right now but i love to use this tool on some of my younger clients some of my little girls that come in and see me they love to have their hair fixed and stuff and i could use a flat iron which i do sometimes and i can use a wand but this just gives them the prettiest looking kind of mermaid loose wavy curls with little girls they're so active they're always running around and playing and stuff and so sometimes if you just curl their hair with a flat iron or a curling iron it's not going to hold but oh my gosh this thing this will hold some curls now um, I always spray a little hairspray, just like when I use my wand. I spray each section and then I kind of crimp it down. You can curl so fast with this. So that's one thing I absolutely love. Some of these little girls don't want to sit in my chair for 30 minutes getting their hair curled. I will post a picture right here of some of my clients that I've used it from. And I also love using it for my daughter when she has, you know, cheer and stuff like that. It's just a really good tool to have. Um, I'm sure you can get one on Amazon. I think I may have gotten this at Sally's. I don't exactly remember, but it's just the three barrel crimper, not the little 1980s style with the little bitty grooves, no. And the other hair tool that I wanted to talk about that I actually don't have with me right now. I'm, I took it home last night to curl my hair and I forgot to bring it up to the studio with me, but that is my Bellamy wand. I've talked about this before on my channel. I've done some hair demos. If you want to see how to curl your hair super fast, under 10 minutes, I'll link that video I did up here. You can see I love the Bellamy 6-in-1 wand with all the attachments. I never curl my hair with a flat iron or curling iron 
because it just doesn't last. Um, with my wand, my Bellamy wand, I can go days. I will touch up just a few front pieces, you know, when I wake up in the mornings, but it lasts in my hair. And I can't believe I don't have it to show you, but of course I'll put a picture, you know, so you can kind of see what it looks like. Now we're gonna move on to the actual hair products. So the first thing I want to mention is my favorite all-time shampoo and conditioner that I discovered this year. Um, when I went to more of the pastel colors, I was like a blush rose tone a couple months ago, and then I went back to my silver, this kind of slate smoky silver. Um, you have to have a very good color locking shampoo that's going to hold your color in and not fade it. There's lots of sulfate free shampoos, and I have found that this is by far the best. It makes my color last the longest. And this is the um, Sexy Hair Color Lock Shampoo. It has rose and almond oil. You don't have to have pastel colors to use this. I mean, if I had known about this when I had all my pretty red and warm brown tones, it would have lasted me so much longer and the tones would have stayed rich and vibrant longer because obviously, even though hair color is permanent, depending on what you use, it's still going to fade over the course of a few weeks, especially just depending on how you take care of it at home. If you're taking really hot showers, if you wash it every day, if you're constantly putting heat on it, it's gonna fade. It's just, that's just how it is. So anyway, I absolutely love this shampoo. You can get this at Ulta. You can get this um, from your stylist and I'm sure you can get it online a few places. And I will link all the products that I'm talking about in the description box. Um, I will post where I can find the best price online for you if you don't want to go to Ulta or if you can't go to a stylist and find these. I will try and find the best price and link that below for you. So, love, love those. Now moving on to another shampoo that I have to use. Like this is what helped me stay super ashy when I was blonde and, and this is what helps my silver not fade as fast. This is the Pravana Perfect Blonde Purple Toning Shampoo. Now there's a lot of purple shampoos that I've tried, a lot of purple shampoos out there. And oh my gosh, this stuff is amazing, but it is strong. Like stain your hands almost and your fingernails. I always walk around with purple nails. And that's one reason why I don't always keep my nails on. This stuff eliminates any yellowness, any brassiness. Um, it just tones it out to a beautiful ashy ice shade. The more you use it, the more icy it's gonna get. So I suggest if you like just the natural not super icy, but just ash blonde. Don't use this too much um, once a week just to kind of keep up your blonde, if that. Don't leave it in too long because you don't want to be turning a few ends purple. If you do accidentally turn your hair purple using purple shampoo, just wash it a few times. It'll come out, I promise. Um, I've done it before. A lot of purple shampoos are drying. That's just how they go. I mean, I've used some that aren't as drying as others, but then they don't work as good. So just keep that in mind when you're using a purple shampoo. When I go in with this, after I let it set a couple minutes, I'll rinse it out and then I'll go in with my regular shampoo and conditioner. So Pravana Perfect Blonde Shampoo is a absolute must, must, must. That's all the shampoos and conditioners I wanna talk about. Um, the next thing I wanna talk about is hair treatments and how to keep your hair healthy at home, especially if you do any type of lightening, bleaching with your hair. I can't stress this enough to my clients. I ask them what's their routine, and most of the time it's because clients are just a little rough on their hair when they get home. They don't think about things like this, and I didn't either until you know I started going lighter, and I'm like, what is the deal? Because after I got it done, it was fine, but then after, you know, over time, it just kept getting worse. I can't stress this enough. Hot water in your showers, try to rinse your hair as cool as water as possible. It'll help your color for one thing, not fade as fast, and it'll just help it from drying out. When your hair gets super dry, what's it gonna do? It's gonna break. It's going to cause your hair to look really fried. Just like our skin, if you don't keep your skin hydrated, it's gonna get really dry and flaky and just not look healthy at all. Same goes for your hair. So, a little ramble there about <laughs> about keeping your hair healthy at home, but that is why I use the Olaplex number three. This is the take home product from Olaplex. Now, the main Olaplex that I put in my bleach to kind of keep hair healthy as I'm doing lightening services is the main thing that I love to do, but I love when my clients will take this home and use this once a week. Um, this product is a little different than some hair masks, some hair treatments. You have to put this in before you shampoo and condition. So get in the shower, get your hair wet, kind of towel dry it if you can. Um, shake it out, wring it out, and lather this all over your hair. Let it set for a good 10 minutes if you can, and then go in and um, rinse it all out. It instantly feels so soft. It's 
you will start to see results really quickly when using this stuff. It really does strengthen your hair. Now we're gonna get into styling products. Everybody's probably seen these. It's a 10 products. They are absolutely amazing. I've used these for years. I try other things and then I always come back to these and I always make sure I've got a few of these setting on my shelf. There's several different kinds. They've got like a silk one. They've got one with keratin. Uh, this is the light leave-in which I really, really love because people whose hair gets really oily, um, I spray this in there and it's not as, it's not as heavy. So, but I absolutely love the leave-in conditioners. You just spray these. It helps detangle hair. Um, it helps with frizz. It helps from the blow dryer, the heat that you're putting on there. Just make sure you use this on damp hair. Don't ever try to put it on dry hair or you're gonna have an oily mess. It just does a great job smoothing the hair. So this is another must that's on my product shelf. Something that's kind of new to me, but I've liked it so far. This is a Mika, and this is called The Wizard. And this says multi-benefit primer for all hair types. Researching, and I've seen a lot of uh, reviews on YouTube, a lot of stylists using Amika products. This is one of the top products that a lot of people talked about when using Amika. This one, and then there's like a texturizing dry spray or something like that I wanna try. But I've used this a few times at home. I've used it a few times on clients. It seems like it helps their hair dry faster. It does a great job smoothing their hair out. And it says it's got great thermal protection. So now I love my It's a 10, but just like in makeup, I would get bored if I used the exact same product over and over and over. And sometimes products don't agree with every single client. So what works on 20 clients may not work on one client. That's why I like to have a variety of things on my shelf. I'm excited that I picked this up. I really like it. Um, moving on to a amazing blow dry spray. This is again from It's a 10 Miracle Blow Dry Volumizer. Um, I absolutely love this because it does not give you that sticky, tacky feeling at the roots after you blow dry it. It does a great job giving you lift, giving you lots of body in your hair. Um, I always, of course, spray around the roots, but then I also kind of mist it all over their hair. Um, and it just seems to like build it up a little bit. I love that this doesn't weigh clients' hair down like some products do. The Sexy Hair Brand has a root lifter that I really like, but I found that not a lot of clients like that because it's just so icky and tacky feeling and they say my roots get super oily after using it. So I've been using this for I want to say five or six years, you know, same as the it's a 10 leave-in conditioners. Not really much I can say more about it, but it's amazing. I love it. Have to have it. Now we're going to move on to one of my favorite oils that I love to use. This is the Moroccan oil in this, I wanted to say in the shade. This is the light treatment. This says it's for fine hair or light colored hair. I don't recommend putting this all over your head Stay away from the roots because you will hate this because it will get really oily really fast keep it more on your mid shaft to your ends i don't wash my hair every day but i do use a dry shampoo i don't like to use um the dry conditioner so i will put this in my ends just a little bit just to keep it from feeling too dry it's got the white lid and it says light right there on the front so if you're looking for a good smoothing oil treatment oil it's another product that is a must for me now moving on to one of my favorite discoveries of 2017 this is the kenra color charge spray serum color protecting spray i like to go in with a thermal spray before i go in on my clients with a flat iron curling or even on myself some clients think that if they use like the leave-in sprays it does say uv protection but i feel like that's just for the blow dryer i feel like you need to go in with um a spray before you do your hot tools as well. But if you have used anything from the Kenra line, you will know how amazing everything smells. And that is one thing that my clients just love when I use this. They're like, oh my God, what did you just put in my hair? I could use this as perfume, it smells so good. I've turned a lot of my clients onto this and I hate because it's always either sold out in my store or they just don't get it in stock very much. So I will list a price uh, where you can find it online and you just shake it up just a little bit and then just give it a spray all over your hair or on each section. You don't have to hit your roots as much with this stuff. Just kind of lightly mist it. Don't hold it too close or it will get a little oily. Hey, my computer's about to die. I've got to hurry. Dry shampoo. This is my absolute favorite dry shampoo. This is the Batista or Batiste, sorry, dry shampoo in the um, scent, in the floral scent. I absolutely love this stuff. I picked it up at Ulta one day just because I can't ever find one that I absolutely love from 
um, my supply store. And a lot of hairstylists may look down on me for that because this is not technically a pro product, but just like with makeup, there's some stuff that is just as good. And I don't do a whole lot of retailing at my shop just because I get my products for my clients at my price because I just don't like to retail. I don't like to push. Um, I'm not like a car salesman. I don't like to push products at people saying, you need this, you need, you need to buy this, this, this. I recommend what's going to be good for them, but um, I'm not in it to make money. I just want them to take care of their hair at home. So rant over with that, but I love this. You can probably get this on Amazon at Ulta. They have lots of different scents, lots of different kinds, but I find this does the absolute best job of taking care of the shine and giving it a little lift. The last two products I wanna talk about are my two top favorite hairsprays of 2017. This one is the Bedhead Masterpiece Massive Shine Spray, and that name says it all. It is a beautiful shine spray. I have to spray my hair when I go in and curl it, and I spray each section, so I don't want it to look really dry. A lot of hairsprays are drying, and they kinda of just dull your hair and your color. This one will not. It's not a super hold, like an extreme hold, but it does a good job because I like my hair to kind of just move. I don't like it to be stiff. So I absolutely love this from TG. Um, it's all out. I've got to go pick up a few more cans because I can't put this stuff down. Woo, the sun is coming in and the lighting is changing. So hurry up, Heather. Um, the last product I wanna talk about is the 1X50 um, hairspray. This is very new. Um, I didn't discover this until we went to a cheer competition and that's what this brand kind of focuses on. That's their target is like cheer, dance, theater, that kind of stuff, performance, because this stuff does a really good job um, giving it that hard hold where your hair's not going to come undone. It says it's a finishing spray and a competition hold if that helps. I love that it's very moisturizing. If that makes sense for a hairspray, it does not dull your hair. Definitely don't want that when you're performing and it's not flaky. A lot of extreme holding hairsprays are really flaky and nasty when you go to comb them out. This one does not do that at all. It's got a great smell and I absolutely love what this brand does for young athletes. Check out their Instagram. You will see what I'm talking about. It gives a lot of young girls amazing opportunities. So 1X50 hair care, I absolutely love this. Okay, you guys, that is all I have to show you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, I use a lot more stuff, but these are my top ones that I wanted to mention. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe before you leave, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.